Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today guys, we are going to be taking a look at Laguna Blue's original Creep Production doll. And I'm actually quite excited to get her out of the box. Now I do have Laguna, her basics right here. She's actually complete. I don't know where her bracelet went, but I have it. It's, it's just somewhere. Oh, she's falling apart. I don't know why the lighting in this video is looking very dark today, but it is. And honestly, I need to get new lights guys. I'm kind of tired of everything looking super shadowed in the background. So, um, I need to work on that. <laughs> but anyways, guys, with all that jabber jabber out of the way, let me roll my intro real quickly so we can actually look at Laguna Blue and all of her fishy, you know, goodness. Yeah. Hello? I just hit an Ariana Grande note. Hi. Okay, guys. So as you may know, today is Friday the 13th, iconic day. I have a tattoo in honor of it. This was actually my first tattoo and I got it on a Friday the 13th. I wanted to get one today as well, but I work so I can't do that. So I'm actually going to be bringing a Monster High doll to work because I want to feel festive. Okay. I know it's not really a holiday, but a good day for Monster High. Okay. But anyways, guys, today is the release date of these dolls. They are going to be in stores. Um, technically only Walmart at the moment, but they might pop up at Target next week and Amazon and all that stuff. So just keep your eyes peeled and yeah. I'll probably let you guys know on my community tab or Instagram. So follow me on Instagram at Zombiegas Corn, selfless plug. I was going to return Laguna because she does have like a slight lip chip, but I, I just feel like it's going to be hard to find these dolls, especially how Vegas is looking with these. Like we haven't really gotten them in most locations yet. And I'm probably going to check Walmart today anyways. And if I do find one, I might just, you know, package her back up and, you know, send her back to Walmart. But like I said, like I said, it's kind of my so it's whatever but this is her box she has an original style box it has the same cardboard the only differences with it are obviously there are some added details the side right here isn't as thick as the original and it doesn't say freaky just got fabulous right here her box is kind of like the seafoam kind of green almost blue color and it's scaly right here and for her design she has some bubbles some seahorses it also shows her skelet luna blue daughter of the sea monster and on her cassette tape it says 10 b-day mix so her birthday is 610 and on the side we're still getting more of those scales right here and then if I flip it to the other side it says monster high it shows her artwork along with a skelet and some chains inside the box it says she includes a doll stand and diary and says her life is an open book so check it out I, I'm blind I barely can see that I really want to see if they're gonna do non-international boxes if we turn it to the back of the box it says monster high meet, meet the frighteningly fashionable teenage children of the most famous monsters this is Laguna Blue daughter of the sea monster her age is 15 her pet is neptuna she loves sushi which is you know defeating the purpose laguna come on now <laughs> and she's down with everybody bra I don't remember her saying bra, but that's just her saying I was forgotten on these three boxes and yeah. And on the bottom, you can actually see the other three icons in this collection. And here's her barcode if you're looking for her. And I know a lot of people are probably going to be hunting today. So make sure you guys film it. It's going to be so cool to see people doll hunting for Monster High dolls again. Okay, guys. So I have showed you her box and the differences. It's slight. And if you really want an in-depth like of the box, go to Frankie's review. I'm going to link it down below along with my Monster High playlist and all of their reviews. But anyways, guys. I'm gonna open Laguna. I'm very excited to do that. Okay, guys, so Laguna is out of the box. She was really in there. So um, I feel like right now, Draculaura is the easiest to open. This is her. Her hair is just as boxed as an original Laguna. That's kind of iconic. Um, but before we get into Laguna, let me show you everything Laguna comes with, and then we can move on. So Laguna comes with a white doll stand. Now, the only difference in her doll stand is the color is slightly off. Now, this is the one I got with Laguna when I got her. Now, this could be someone else's, but it is slightly pearlescent, as you can see on the base especially and this one is just more white i kind of like the white look a lot better though it looks more clean compared to the other one it's kind of yellow the other one to be honest and for her skelet comb it is kind of that pearlescence color i was talking about so these look very different from each other it comes with a purse which is a fish bowl and just like her original one it does open so you could put neptuna in there it has a gold handle and it is a blue color and has like water wave designs on it and speaking of neptuna neptuna is a little pink piranha she is light pink and dark pink and has blue eyes and just like the other pets she's made of a more squishy material compared to her original so let me show you the original bag and the original neptuna so here's the original bag and here is the new reproduction bag the older one is more see-through and a darker blue while the new one 
is kind of more cloudy and also a lighter blue. As for Neptuna, this is the original one. You can see the paint on her eye is much vibrant compared to this one. This one actually has a lighter blue color too. But yeah, you can just see the slight differences in Neptuna. Um, she's come a long way. And I'll also show you how to put Neptuna in. You just open the little door and you just put Neptuna in. And just like that, Neptuna is now ready to go on the go. And she of course comes with her first edition diary. It says Monster High Laguna Blue, the diary belongs to some blue spiderweb right here along with AC horse cassette and circle and she says hey, bro. if you find my diary please return it to me when you're done reading it late so like she kind of just said you're allowed to read her diary which is a little suspicious but also why is she saying bra go ahead and pause to read her diary by the way And there is her About Me page. Go ahead and pause and read that as well. Okay, guys, now that we looked at all of Laguna's stuff, it's time to look at Laguna herself. I've noticed I've been doing this a lot when I'm talking with the dolls, like flipping their hair. Um, it's actually really cute. Mine's is kind of weird in the face. Um, her eyes look like they're really high and close together. Um, I've seen people have better eyes, but of course, because I bought these online, I couldn't choose the face. So I'm excited to see them in person and maybe I can buy other ones if I need to. But yeah, I totally recommend buying these in person. So yeah, let's start with her hair. So Laguna has like this kind of yellowish blonde hair it's kind of looking like what my blonde hair is looking like right now because i bleached it and she has these blue streaks in it as well she also has this little bang that kind of looks like a little wave it's really cute her hair texture is curly it definitely does need a little boil wash and she should be good she has her little pink flower that is in her hair and it just took me to now to realize that it's an actual like hair clip so i don't know how people were losing this back in the day for laguna's face she has purple eyebrows she has some purple eyeshadow on that kind of fades up into like a grayish color with some shimmer on her brow bone. She has green eyes. She has her cute little blue freckles. She has a fuchsia lipstick color that has a gloss over top of it. It's looking very frosty. And just like I mentioned with the other reproductions, the lips are slightly more pouty and less long like the original. Just for a little comparison, you can see Laguna is looking in two different directions, by the way, the original chord. So it's a good thing they fixed that with this one. And there's the lips I was talking about. They look like they're just more plump at the end. And the these ones kind of have like this little curve. The more I look at this one, the more the original looks really bad in my opinion. <laughs> For Laguna's earrings, I don't know what these are supposed to be, but they look like a gold chain that has two hoops. So moving on to Laguna's outfit, she's wearing this little hoodie that has the same scale pattern that was on her box. The hood has these cute little cool little ears on the top to look like kind of fins on a fish. It has black sleeves and teal cuffs that are made of a knitted material. It is separated from her bathing suit. If we look in the middle of her chest, she has a gold chain necklace that has a golden seahorse on it. If I move down to her bathing suit, it is a black and pink bathing suit. Ties in the back like a lot of original Monster High dolls clothing did. The top portion of the bathing suit is black. It has hot pink stitching. And if we move down, it is a hot pink color, but with the scales that are on her jacket as well. It is a separate piece. It's not connected to the shorts. And if we move down to the shorts, they're black and teal. So the top is a teal similar to her cuff. Kind of reminded me of like a little hair tie, not gonna lie teal trimming going around these shorts and it has teal and hot pink stitching on it and connected to the shorts are her blue fishnet. Laguna has fins on her arm and on her leg. The ones on her arms aren't removable and because we're at her hand she has webbed hands and she also has that bracelet that I somehow misplaced on my original. And if we move down to her real fins down here these ones do come off so you could put other outfits on her and an issue with them is they always do fall off. And if we move on to her shoes they're these little wedged sandals that are black and pink and they have some white stripes on the bottom heel. I always loved her first shoes. I thought they were so cute. All in all, Laguna is like really, really cute. She has the original head sculpt. She has the 2021-22 Honka Tour body, which is just a 2008 Monster High body. But the only difference is that it has the, the reboot pegs. Like you can see here, they're not as thin as the original. So it's just different paint on the face. It's not a new head sculpt in general. She goes, she can actually hold her bag. It's so cute. Let me get the original Laguna and we can do some comparisons and I will end off this video. It is such a stark difference between these two, like especially in the face. So my original Laguna, um, she's seen better days. She used to have really, really curly hair, but over time, because it's saran, the hair just kind of dropped. So you can see some of the hair's curls are still there, but like not as good. And her arm is super weak because like I said, it's the original peg. So it doesn't keep her purse up too well. And this one's doing a better job at that. You can also notice that this one's a little bluer than this one. Um, other than that, the outfit is pretty much the exact same quality. I would say that this one has thicker lines than this one. 
the shorts feel the same the fishnets feel the same the jewelry all feels the same the hair might be slightly different like you can see this one's is a little more darker and this one's lighter and but all in all i really do like this new reproduction laguna like i didn't think i was gonna like her too too much but like i kind of like her more than the original and i've seen some people actually say the same thing for certain ones of these goals too like they say that they like this one better than this one but all in all i really think this laguna is like really nice and she is really cool so that basically ends off my laguna blue review i'm happy with how she turned out i'm happy that her eyes are actually facing forward for one time and i'm actually really excited to see what they do with cleo because cleo's eyes have always been doing the same thing they look in two different directions if you're looking to get any of the basics honestly this is the best way to do it and i kind of hope mattel does more reproductions but doesn't go too crazy because i'd rather just see newer stuff now finding these dolls is probably going to be difficult for the first few months probably because i've heard that once they're put out they're selling out like really really fast and it's kind of reminding me of what happened with the brats reproductions last year they just sold out super fast and weren't able to restock them for a few months if you can find them and they have good faces and all that stuff then i would totally recommend snagging any of these reproductions don't pay into scalpers please and yeah guys um let me know your thoughts on laguna blue in the comments down below if you are new to my channel hi my name is jay and i do doll stuff duh i'd love you to join the channel today i'm also going to be posting claudine's review so stay tuned it's going to be up in a few hours so yeah and if you aren't following me on instagram or on tiktok it's at zombie x corn as well i post a lot of monster high stuff on tiktok and instagram and i really want to start posting more on youtube but i i just needed to know if you guys like it too <laughs> but anyways guys i will see you in claudine's video later today so bye for now